Welcome to the seventh of our Sunday spiritual exercises. Though we're not today going to encounter a seventh new exercise, but I'm going rather to repeat those themes that we've already met in the first six weeks. So today we're going to revisit the first exercise, which was about using a mantra as a way of praying. There's an old Muslim proverb which says, pray to God, but first tether your camel. And about that proverb, somebody once wrote, those with no faith just tether their camel. Those with a little faith do both. Those with a lot of faith just pray. And those with absolute faith do neither. And there's something to be said about the logic of not praying at all. Because if we believe that before a word is on our tongue, Lord, you know it all together, then why is there any point in saying anything? But for most of us, wordless prayer is too hard. That's why the mantra offers just a few words or a single word, which allows us to hold on and not allow ourselves to run away with words or to get swallowed up in the silence. In Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, Jesus cautions against speaking too much in prayer. Don't babble on like the pagans do, who love to use lots and lots of words. Don't be like them, Jesus said. When you pray, go somewhere on your own and be quiet and use just a few words. And in Matthew's Gospel, the Lord's Prayer is given to Jesus' disciples as a way of preventing them saying too much in prayer. Because prayer is not so much about talking to God and filling God's ears up with words. It is about listening to God and waiting upon God. I was reading this week that now is a good time to watch young kingfishers because they will only have been out of the nest for a week or two and they won't yet have learnt the art of remaining undetected so it's a good time to watch them but of course you need to know where to watch them and even if you know where to go that doesn't guarantee that you'll see them unless you're still and patient that's why Anne Lewin uses the image of waiting for the kingfisher to talk about what prayer is like when she writes, prayer is like waiting for the kingfisher. All you can do is be where he is likely to appear and wait. So using a mantra in prayer is in a similar way being still and waiting and watching for God. I'm not going to suggest what mantra you use on this occasion But I suggest that if you don't know what mantra you can use, then pause the video and think of one. Jim Cotter, who's a retired Anglican priest who came to spend his retirement on the north coast of Wales, he says mantras are a little bit like the hums that Winnie the Pooh hums to himself as he goes along. In the early days, Eastern Christians used to use the Jesus prayer, Lord have mercy on me, a sinner. Other people use scriptural passages, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Yet other people just use whatever word or phrase is most helpful for them in the present moment. 
It may be a single word, it may be a phrase. Lord have mercy. God grant me peace. It depends what works for us. So choose what mantra you want to use in the prayer time that we're going to begin now. If you need to pause the video, do. And when you're ready, start it up again. So we make ourselves comfortable, lower or close our eyes and begin to settle ourselves down. And paying attention to our breath is always a good way to do that. Give yourself a moment to find a nice gentle rhythm of breathing. And as you begin to settle, so you can begin to introduce the word or the words of the mantra that you're going to use. And we'll just repeat that mantra quietly or silently as you attend to your breathing going in and out. And as with all prayer or meditation, if you do find that your mind is wandering off, then simply notice it and bring yourself back to your breath and to the words of your mantra.
And as we've already mentioned, that Jesus gave the Lord's Prayer in order to prevent us from using too many words. Let's close this short time of quiet with those words that he gave. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Of course, with all these exercises, you can make them as long as you wish. And indeed, that's really quite a short time to be quiet. But in my experience, if you're able to be quiet for 15 or 20 minutes, then you do enter a really deep prayer state, which I think you'll find really, really helpful and relaxing. That's all for today. Thank you for joining me and I hope you keep well and stay safe.